Hey mom, here I am again. Anita Fletcher says she will always remember her mother, Audrey Whitney. I bought you lilies this time, mom. They're beautiful. I, I can hear you talking to me, telling me to take them home because you don't need them here. With each bittersweet visit to her gravestone. I think that's perfect, mom. Surrounded by hundreds of other Army veterans who have their own war and battle tales to tell. Fletcher says she doesn't want her mother's own story to stay buried in this Suffolk cemetery. I've asked so many individuals, have you ever, even people that's been in the military, have you ever heard of 6 Triple Eight? Never heard about it, but it means a lot to me. Whitney served as a private first class officer and is one of 855 women from the all black women's army unit, otherwise called the 6 Triple Eight during World War II. The unit single handedly cleared 17 million pieces of backlogged mail within three months in England, which held key pieces of communication between government workers, civilians and their families. But the adventure out west came with its challenges. Commanders segregated the women from other units and forced them to eat and sleep in unhealthy conditions. But their determination to not give up is what sparked a push to recognize these trailblazers as wartime heroes decades later. You could tell they were strong will and they were there for business. Now they are just a few steps away from receiving the U.S. Congressional Gold Medal. I've been on a mission as your advocate to make sure not just you but even the rest of the women that they will receive this gold medal. It's a journey Fletcher says she didn't expect to take on after Whitney passed away in 2017. Inspired by the stern but generous woman who raised and protected her, Fletcher says now it's her turn to give back to her mother and the hundreds of other women she's never even met. But this is not just for my mom. It's even the ones that's not here anymore. I'm advocating for them because this is something that's very deserving. Fletcher's determination etched deeply like the words on her mother's epitaph is now part of a bigger effort to commemorate these women. It means a lot to me to do something that's positive, to give people hope. You know, people have a lot of people have lost their hope. It's something to hold on to because legacy is so important. Even when the women receive the medal and the nation marks them as World War II pioneers, Fletcher says she'll always remember her mom as so much more. But I love you, Mom, and I'm glad that you were my mother. In Suffolk, I'm Ann Sparacco. Thank you so much. For 13 News Now.